Hello everybody, I'm Andy Phillips and this is Iron Concepts number 53. When I think of the trade of blacksmithing, I think of a trade that doesn't have borders, it doesn't have bounds. And there are many specialized variations of the role of the forge. It's a romantic notion of mine that in the end, the forge really is just an all-encompassing branch of industry where function, art, process, and iron meet. And while this is a ludicrous business model, what really defines us as smiths isn't so much the tools and the processes that we have at our disposal, as far-reaching as they may be. Rather, it's the tools and processes that we go to each time that we need to solve a problem. It seems only natural for a shop like ours to take on a broad variety of different types of work. Many of the things that smiths do use the same sets of tools, and thus the results of the work look similar because of those tool sets. And whether you're building a tool, a piece of hardware, or a work of art, chances are it's going to be mostly iron, raw, and covered in scale. And while it might not be this way in every case, it's a hallmark of our trade that our tools define the work that we do. Each subdivision of the forge will share a common root in the way that problems are solved. And even if your shop is only specialized in one thing, as long as the root is there, there is no division, only specialization. For example, if your shop produces mainly railings, but the root of the tooling and processes that you use are the forge, then you're a blacksmith shop that specializes in railings. But then on the other hand, if you're at the point where your shop builds only railings and the processes that you use are only streamlined to build railings, essentially you're just fabricating, then you're doing the same thing as the other shop. You're solving the same problem, but with a different tool set, with a different root trade. Now, I think at this point, it would be fair to argue that this exercise is simply a trivial naming convention. And, and I would agree with you, at least until you start to consider consciously expanding or building upon what it is that you do in your trade and what you do in your shop. To the beginner and to the person trying to redefine themselves and define what they do, this is not a trivial matter. This is why the basics are so important to any trade. They will help define the way that you solve problems. The basics are the root of what you do. And it's this that leads me to my example this week. What is a knife maker and why? And why is the knife maker so important to our trade right now? And let's look at it this way. The trade of blacksmithing is a solution looking for a problem. Its root is the trade itself. Whereas the trade of knife making is a problem, a very simple problem, looking for a solution. Now, I've argued in the past that the best way to start a shop is to start out with the problem and figure out your solutions, figure out what tools you need and what processes, because if you try to do everything at once, learn everything at once, it's easy to bite off way more than you can chew. You see, as blacksmiths, that's what we try to do. We try to do it all, because that's what the trade demands of us, that's what the iron requests of us, is that we can do anything. It requires us to have a business that sprawls. But with knife making, this is not the case. You see, with knife making, all you're doing is you're building this one thing, this one type of thing, and that's a great model for a shop and a good model for a business. And what makes it even better is you get to pick and choose how to root your shop. It's no wonder that this has become such a great entry for people who are interested in getting into the forge. It's simple. The product is straightforward, albeit maybe not super profitable in an oversaturated market, but we'll talk about that later. And you get to shape the root of the trade to your interests and to what your skills as well as what you can afford in the way of tooling. And for our trade, this is actually a wonderful thing because with a mountain of knife makers moving into the art of forging laterally, the awareness of our trade and how we execute it will skyrocket. And I pin this here, that this is only good news for all the blacksmith shops out there. Unless, of course, you're a blacksmith shop that wants to build knives sometimes. Then you're up the creek. All right, but that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the drawing. And if you're watching this on the blue channel, make sure to hop down in the description below. We'll have a link to the new channel. That's where Iron Concepts is moving. If you have any thoughts on this, please comment. And 
If you have any topics that you want to delve into in the future, my email is in the description below. So until next time, thanks and bye.